Yes, it might be annoying sitting next to me on a plane. If I could design the plane, I would make my seat bigger and place your seat on the wing, you entitled piece of shit. <laughs> Fat does not necessarily equal unhealthy, nor does skinny necessarily equal healthy. If you disagree, I literally do not give a fuck. This is not a discussion. I am right and you are wrong. Three. <laughs> I am beautiful. Beauty is subjective. If you think being fat is subjectively unattractive, you have not understood the basics of capitalism. You are a sheep. If you think being fat is subjectively unattractive, you are exactly the kind of fuck nugget whose opinion does not matter. <laughs> this is very important. Just because you have access to the internet and you have an online profile, or if you're a specifically tedious garbage human, an anonymous online profile, and just because you can leave comments, it doesn't mean that your voice has value. I will not listen. I will sit and I will laugh. I will laugh in my glorious fat body that I love and I will laugh at the fact that you think that your opinion about my body should be heard. Five. <laughs> I can wear whatever I want. Tube tops, jumpsuits, sleeveless, horizontal stripes, leggings as trousers, yes. Crop tops, high heels, maxi dresses, colors, paisley, leopard print, shorts, short shorts and really short shorts, baggy clothes, tight clothes and nothing. Six. <laughs> as the lead in your sitcoms as the sexy Rachel, not as the fat, laughable Monica. Put us in your adverts as anything but the before photo. Put us in your musicals. Cast us as Eponine Tenardier, Christine Daae, and Angelica Schuyler. Put us in your music videos. Let us grind on Justin. We exist. Seven. <laughs> if you look at me and feel better about yourself, I'm glad you now feel better, but I'm sad that you needed to. Eight. Hey, you, you know who you are. You stood on stage, you made jokes about how fat women were gross and how they couldn't get laid before 3 a.m. and not unless you were drunk. I just want to say, I'm sorry I never texted you back. She <laughs> thanked you for begging me to come over at 8 p.m. when you were sober because the lit candles and romantic music made me happy and your kind words about my body meant a lot. Nine. So, you're on a diet. Fine. It's your life, but I do not want to hear about it. Understand that you wanting to look less like me is not a compliment. Understand that you've bought into the notion that women are worth more the smaller they are. Understand that you're supporting my and your oppressors. Understand that Weight Watchers are evil and that dieting does not work. Both those things are scientific facts. Understand that I cut my skin, I threw up, and I hated my eight-year-old body. So as you are telling me about kale and your 200 gram of disappearance, understand that it's all a lie. Please take up space, Tim. Thank you.